Did you know that the key to mastering your life lies in how you respond to it, not in what happens to you? In today's fast-paced world, we're constantly bombarded with external pressures, stresses, and events that seem beyond our control. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, frustrated, and powerless. But what if I told you that the secret to overcoming these challenges isn't in changing the world around you, but in changing how you interact with it? If you want to take full control of your mental and emotional well-being, you need to do this one simple thing Start by focusing on what you can control and let go of what you can't. This isn't just about thinking positive or brushing off your struggles. It's about implementing practical techniques that have been used for centuries to cultivate resilience, wisdom and peace of mind. The best part, these techniques are rooted in ancient Stoic philosophy, which has stood the test of time for a reason. They've helped countless individuals, from ancient rulers to modern-day leaders, navigate life's toughest moments with calm and clarity. Avoid this mistake thinking that your happiness and peace depend on external events. Your ability to handle life's challenges comes from within, and today I'm going to show you how to tap into that power. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable tools to regain control, shift your perspective, and live a life of greater peace and purpose. Let's dive in. Number 1. Journal regularly. Have you ever experienced the satisfaction of seeing your thoughts spill onto paper, watching a jumble of emotions, doubts, and dreams turn into something concrete? It feels like a quiet release, like you've uncluttered your mind and created space for peace. Imagine ending your day by sitting down with a cup of coffee or tea, opening a journal and letting your pen flow. For a moment, it's just you, the words, and the comfort of your own thoughts. That feeling of being fully immersed in the present is the magic of journaling. It's simple but powerful and you can do it every single day. Now, let's pause and dive deeper. Journaling is far more than just a way to document your day or jot down what's happening around you. It's an ancient Stoic practice, deeply rooted in self-reflection and clarity. The Stoics, especially Marcus Aurelius, used journaling as a means of introspection. It wasn't just about keeping track of events, it was about understanding the emotions that rise within us, the beliefs that govern our actions, and the truths we often hide from ourselves. Every time we put pen to paper, we embark on a personal journey, a dialogue with our inner self. Picture yourself sitting at your desk, the sun setting outside, and you take a few moments to pause and let your mind breathe. How do you feel in that moment? Anxious, grateful, exhausted, hopeful. Whatever it is, writing it down transforms that emotion from something fleeting to something real. The pages of your journal become a mirror, reflecting the thoughts and experiences you may not even realize you carry with you every day. And it's through this process, this conversation with yourself, that we discover a sense of calm in the storm of our busy lives. Number two. Engage in philosophical meditation. You know those rare moments when everything seems to slow down. When the noise fades and for a brief second, you feel like you're in a space that's just yours. Maybe it happens when you're alone in nature, or perhaps during a quiet evening at home with nothing but your thoughts. That feeling of stillness is where philosophical meditation begins. But what if we told you that you can tap into that feeling whenever you want, not just during those fleeting moments of peace? Philosophical meditation is the stoic practice of deeply reflecting on life's mysteries, the nature of existence, and the workings of our minds. It's not about emptying the mind completely or focusing on your breath like traditional meditation. Instead, it's about engaging with your thoughts in a profound way, exploring the why behind your feelings, actions, and reactions. Why did a certain comment from a co-worker bother you so much? Why do you feel joy when you watch the sunset? 
What does your anger or anxiety really mean beneath the surface? Take a moment to think about your everyday life. We rush through our days, often reacting on autopilot to things that happen around us. We might get upset at something trivial or feel a burst of happiness without really pausing to ask ourselves why. Philosophical meditation gives you the space to explore these emotions and reactions in depth. It asks you to look beyond the surface and question the beliefs and values that drive your behavior. It's not just about having answers, it's about appreciating the journey of contemplation itself. Remember a time when you had a question or a curiosity that seemed to stick with you. Maybe it was a feeling of uncertainty or an unresolved thought that you couldn't shake. What did you do with that feeling? Did you dive deeper into it or did you push it aside? Stoicism teaches us that life is full of these little mysteries and by engaging with them, we unlock a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world. Instead of dismissing these questions, we should cherish them. They're the garden where our growth happens. Now picture yourself in a quiet corner of your home, away from distractions. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply. With each breath, you create more space within your mind. Now let yourself wander. Think about the events of the day, the interactions you had, and the thoughts that followed. Reflect on why certain things bothered you. What was the underlying belief that triggered your reaction? What part of your mind is still holding on to past hurts or disappointments? In these moments of philosophical meditation, you're exploring the very essence of who you are, your emotions, your thoughts, and your core values. Number three, use the elevated perspective technique. Imagine for a moment that you're standing at the top of a hill, or even higher, a balcony overlooking the vastness of a city. From up here, everything looks so small. The traffic seems less chaotic, the people below look like ants, and the noise is barely a whisper. When we elevate our perspective, when we step back and view things from a higher vantage point, our problems often seem to shrink in comparison to the enormity of life itself. That's exactly what the Stoics encourage us to do when we're faced with life's challenges. They urge us to embrace the view from above, a technique that helps us see our problems in their proper context. Whether it's a frustrating day at work, an argument with a friend, or a setback in a long-term goal, Stepping back and viewing the situation from a broader perspective can help us realize that many of these problems are temporary and often not as monumental as they initially seem. Let's take a step back for a moment. How many times have you felt completely overwhelmed by something that, in the grand scheme of things, wasn't as important as it felt at the time? Maybe you got stuck in traffic, had a falling out with a loved one, or missed out on an opportunity you really wanted. In those moments, it can feel like the world is crashing down around you. But if you were able to take a step back, breathe deeply and gain some distance, wouldn't you see things differently? Think about it when you zoom out. The traffic jam becomes just a few minutes of your day, the argument a fleeting moment in your relationship, and the missed opportunity a single chapter in the bigger story of your life. The Stoics believed that by adopting this elevated perspective, we gain a sense of serenity and inner peace. The problems we face might feel overwhelming in the moment, but they are temporary waves in the ocean of our existence. Like waves, they rise, crash, and then merge back into the water, only to be replaced by new ones. Number 4. Examine yourself daily. Life often feels like a whirlwind. From the second we wake up, we're hit with a barrage of tasks, obligations and distractions. We rush through our days without pausing to reflect on our actions, decisions or emotions. But what if you took a moment each day to slow down, breathe and examine yourself? When was the last time you truly checked in with yourself? No, not in a surface level way, like asking how your day was or whether you accomplished your to-do list but truly 
asking yourself how you feel, what you've learned, and why you reacted the way you did. This process of self-examination is not only a powerful stoic tool, it's an essential practice for anyone seeking personal growth and deeper self-awareness. Imagine waking up every morning with a sense of intention. Before you dive into your daily tasks, you sit down in silence for a few minutes and reflect on what you hope to achieve, both externally and internally. You ask yourself questions like, what am I grateful for today? What can I learn from yesterday's mistakes? How can I grow from today's challenges? This intentional pause shifts your mindset from one of autopilot to one of active engagement with your life. Examination is about uncovering the layers that make up who you are. It's about understanding why you think, feel, and act the way you do. We all have habits, beliefs, and patterns that shape our day-to-day -day lives, but most of us rarely take the time to question where these behaviors stem from or whether they serve us. This is where the power of daily self-examination comes in. By consistently examining yourself, you become aware of these patterns and can begin to identify which ones help you grow and which ones hold you back. Think back to a situation where you reacted in a way that surprised you. Maybe you got angry over something trivial or felt inexplicably anxious about a simple task. Number five, practice the pause and reflect technique. In the fast paced world we live in, everything demands our attention right now. Social media, work deadlines, personal commitments, all of these pull at us constantly we are conditioned to react quickly to the world around us, often without considering the consequences. But what if you could create space between stimulus and response? What if, instead of reacting impulsively, you could take a pause, reflect, and then choose how to respond consciously? This is the essence of the pause and reflect technique, a simple yet profound practice that helps you cultivate mindfulness and emotional intelligence. It's a practice that encourages you to stop before you act, to take a moment to breathe, center yourself and reflect on your thoughts, feelings and intentions. By taking this moment of pause, you break free from the automatic responses that govern so much of our daily lives and you create room for intentional, thoughtful action. Think about the last time you got upset with someone, a colleague, a friend, or even a family member. How often do you immediately respond with anger or frustration without stopping to consider the bigger picture? What if instead of reacting in the heat of the moment, you took a deep breath, paused for a few seconds and reflected on your response? In those moments, you might realize that your initial reaction wasn't driven by logic or compassion, but by past experiences, assumptions or emotional triggers. The pause and reflect technique helps you see this, creating a moment of awareness before your emotions take control. The beauty of this practice is that it's applicable to all aspects of life. Whether you're dealing with a stressful work situation, navigating a tough conversation, or simply feeling overwhelmed by the demands of daily life, the pause allows you to reset your mental state and choose a more mindful, deliberate response. It doesn't mean you'll always have the perfect answer, but it gives you the opportunity to act with more clarity and less emotional charge. Imagine you're in a meeting and someone challenges your idea. Your initial impulse might be to defend your position aggressively, to protect your pride, but if you've practiced the pause and reflect technique, you'll have the ability to take a step back. Instead of reacting defensively, You'll pause, breathe, and reflect on the situation. What's the best way to respond? Can you see the other person's perspective? Is there a better way to frame your idea, one that invites collaboration rather than conflict? Over time, this practice becomes second nature. You'll notice that you're less reactive and more thoughtful in your interactions. You'll develop a greater sense of emotional control and be able to navigate life's challenges with a calm, measured approach. 
The pause and reflect technique doesn't just help you in difficult moments, it improves your overall mental and emotional well-being by fostering mindfulness and presence. In the Stoic tradition, reflection is a tool for cultivating virtue. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the importance of pausing to reflect on his own actions, reminding himself to stay true to his values and to act with wisdom and compassion. By taking a step back before acting, we too can make decisions that align with our higher principles, rather than being swept away by immediate emotions or external pressures. Number 6. Represent events objectively. Life throws countless challenges our way. It's easy to get swept up in the emotional turbulence of these events, letting our feelings dictate how we experience the world. But what if you could detach from your emotions for a moment and view events as they truly are, not colored by your immediate reactions? Representing events objectively is a crucial stoic practice that helps us detach from the emotional weight of external circumstances. It allows us to see things as they really are, rather than through the lens of our personal biases, fears or desires. When we respond emotionally to a situation, we often distort our perception of reality. We blow things out of proportion, over-dramatize or catastrophize. The Stoics teach us to step back and view events with clarity as neutral occurrences that we have the power to choose how to respond to. Take a moment and think about a recent stressful situation. Maybe it was an argument with a friend, a difficult work deadline, or a family conflict. How did you initially perceive it? Chances are your emotions colored the way you viewed the situation. Anger, frustration, fear, or anxiety. Now, try to view the event objectively. What actually happened? What were the facts without any emotional embellishment? For example, if you received a harsh critique at work, your initial reaction might be one of hurt or anger. You might feel as though the criticism is a personal attack. But by stepping back and representing the event objectively, you can separate your feelings from the facts. The criticism is not about you as a person, it's about your work, and it's an opportunity for growth. By detaching from the emotional charge, you can respond with greater clarity and less defensiveness. This process doesn't mean you should suppress your emotions or deny them. Rather, it's about recognizing that your emotions are not the full truth of the situation. They are a natural, human response to external events but they don't define the events themselves. By representing events objectively, you gain the ability to navigate life's challenges with more resilience, less reactivity, and greater wisdom. The Stoics knew that how we perceive the world deeply influences how we experience it. Epictetus taught that we can't always control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond. By representing events objectively, we free ourselves from the tyranny of emotional overreaction and open the door to thoughtful, constructive action. Number 7. Distinguish between controllable and uncontrollable events. In life, we often feel overwhelmed by circumstances that seem beyond our control. Whether it's a global crisis, the behavior of others, or the unpredictable twists of fate, we're constantly faced with situations that we can't change. But what if we focused only on what we can control? The stoic principle of distinguishing between controllable and uncontrollable events is a key practice for mental and emotional resilience. It's about recognizing the limits of our control and redirecting our energy toward the things we can influence. When we focus on what's within our power, we free ourselves from the anxiety and frustration that comes with trying to control the uncontrollable. Consider a situation where you've been frustrated by something beyond your control, perhaps a job loss, a personal setback, or a global crisis. In those moments, it's easy to feel powerless, to get bogged down by the things you can't change. But the stoic approach teaches us to shift our focus. Instead of worrying about what's beyond our control, 
we focus on our own responses, actions and choices. For instance, let's say you're dealing with a health issue. You can't control your diagnosis or the external factors surrounding it, but you can control how you respond to it. You can take proactive steps to manage your health, seek support and maintain a positive attitude. By distinguishing between what's within your control, your actions, thoughts and reactions, and what's not, external events, you empower yourself to take charge of your own life. The power of this practice lies in its simplicity. By focusing only on what you can control, you reduce feelings of helplessness and frustration. You stop wasting energy on things that are out of your hands and instead channel your efforts toward what you can influence. Over time, this mindset shift allows you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and resilience. In practical terms, distinguishing between the controllable and uncontrollable can be as simple as making a list. When faced with a difficult situation, write down what you can control and what you can't. Then, commit yourself fully to the things you can influence and release the rest. This process helps you stay focused, grounded and mentally strong no matter what life throws your way. Through this practice, you begin to realize that you are not a passive bystander in your life. You are an active participant, and by focusing on the things you can control, you become more empowered, more peaceful, and more resilient. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who are truly committed to transforming their lives. You've already taken the first step, by investing your time and energy into learning powerful techniques for mastering your mind and emotions. Now, it's up to you to take action and make these principles a daily practice. If you're serious about creating real change in your life, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community. By subscribing, you're setting yourself up for continuous growth, learning and success. Let's keep pushing forward together and make sure you're always progressing on your journey. You've got this.